Welcome out there, YouTube world. This is TJ Jackson with EMC Fitness, and we're in the kitchen today. And I'm just gonna go over a quick way I prepare something to eat. You know, I try to keep it simple. Um, uh, my diet mostly consists of, of, as far as a protein source, I eat chicken. Um, I, I do like fish. I, I don't uh, too much do the red meat. I do have a steak occasionally, uh, but uh, for the most part, I, I like to eat. Uh, chicken and I also like to eat fish. My favorite fish is tilapia and also um, I'm not a big fan of chicken breasts. I just think it's too dry so I eat, I do a, a skinless chicken thighs and also I'll do some skinless chicken uh, legs. So today what I'm going to do uh, here in the kitchen is I'm going to chicken legs uh, put, drop these chicken legs in a in a pan. You can do it whatever way you want. I mean, of course, you know I'm not going to fry them, but uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put them in this pan here, like a, little, a baking pan, uh, enough to hold uh, maybe 12, 12 pieces, 12 drumsticks, and uh, I'm going to show you some of the season that I use on my uh, on my food. Uh, I don't use salt. I completely have eliminated salt from my diet. And also, I have completely eliminated uh, sugars. Anything processed has been completely eliminated from my diet. Uh, but for the most part, uh, if it's a cheat day, I mean, that's what cheat day means. So I might have some ice cream or something. But even on my cheat days, I, I try to stay away from salt because now that I'm 34, I don't even want to play with my blood pressure. So I don't even, uh, even put salt in nothing. Uh, but I do use, let me tell you guys, man, I know you didn't heard it, but uh, if you haven't, Miss Dash Seasons. I buy every flavor of Miss Dash Season. No salt in it, and it is, I mean, delicious. All our seasons are just are, are, are really good. And uh, she has some uh, seasoning for chicken. She has some for hamburgers, some for uh, table blend, Italian blend, whatever you, you know. You know, depending on what you're throwing together, you might want to experiment a little bit. So, um, got the chicken here in the pan. Okay. Another thing I do from occasionally, this I wouldn't, everybody's different, but this is me, uh, especially in the off season. I put a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette over the chicken and let it bake. Uh, this has uh, five grams of fat, uh, three grams of carbs, no protein, but. It's, um, it's uh, 60 calories a serving. That's two tablespoons. But of course, we're going to go a little bit more. So you basically every two pieces of chicken is a serving of this. I just lightly cover, you know, each piece with it. And then I put a little seasoning also. Let's get that going here. This is wishbone. This is good stuff. They ain't paying me to promote it, but it's good. Um, here we go. Boom. So I'm going to drop that over there there. Just cover the chicken. Also, once I finish doing it, I'll give you a quick view of what how, how it looked before it goes in the oven. And then I'll start putting up some videos and some things maybe that I already prepared. And uh, just to give you an idea of uh, what that looked like. I mean, and the hardest part of fitness is the diet. So you have to find ways to get your micronutrients in the way that you like to eat. That's the hardest part, you know, because there's a lot of things that I don't like to eat. I like broccoli and asparagus and all those things, but I don't like everything. So I'm not going to kid myself and it's nothing worse than trying to force yourself to eat something you don't like. That's the worst. So, um, boom. Now, once I finish doing, putting that on there, I go with the, uh, tonight I'm going to go with the Mrs. Dash, uh, Italian melody. I love that. It sounds sexy. So we're going to go with that. Sprinkle that over the chicken, no salt, but we can put it on there. It's all about flavor. It's flavor. Man. Get used to a lot of stuff not having flavor when you eat healthy. So if you can find a way to make something healthy and taste good, that's half the battle. You know, like I said, consistent with the training, it's going to be easy. Consistent with, uh, you know, those type parts of the of your transformation or your journey is going to be relatively easy but it's the nutrition 
I'm telling you, it's the nutrition that is the challenge. That is where the self-discipline has to come in. And that's where you have to really, you know, lock in and focus. So, um, again, I'm going to bake this probably for about two hours, about 375. And then I'm going to top it off with uh, on the side. I'm going to put some um, Italian green beans on the side. Maybe a half a cup of brown rice, depending on how I'm feeling. Probably maybe a half a cup of brown rice. Cover that with the, uh, with the green beans on top of the brown rice. Two to three pieces of uh, baked chicken on the side. And that's going to be pretty much it. That's going to be my uh, post-workout meal. I'm, I'm going to put this together before I hit the gym. So um, let me just show you guys what this is looking like in the pan before I put it in. Yeah, an idea. So that's what it's looking like before we throw it over in the oven. Not kneading, got to be kneading. So I like I'm a catering service, and then this is for fitness, for God's sakes. Anyway, um, I'm going to be posting more things on nutrition. What my goal is uh, for you guys, uh, when I first got into fitness, it seemed like uh, one guy would say this about nutrition, and another guy would say that about nutrition, and they would totally be contradicting each other, but they both look great. So I've come to the conclusion that we have to find out really what works for us. You know what I mean? Let me put this in a, um, we have to really find out, uh, you know, what, what really works for us. And until we find, you know, the right combination of foods that we like, uh, the amount of calories that we need, uh, then we're, it's going to be a, you know, you just got an experiment because if you don't eat, en eat enough calories, your body's going to try to hold on to fat. If you eat too much calories, it's going to start to store the fat. So you have to find the balance. You have to find the balance. That's basically what it boils down to. You know what I mean? Um, I've been training hard. I'm just starting to post some um, some training videos as well. Bear with me. Give me time to get used to doing this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not as good as a lot of guys up here. But what I'm trying to do is just get into the rhythm of uh, speaking to you guys through the camera. Get into the rhythm of... Uh, making the videos more interesting, stop rushing through them, just kind of more like laid back, be myself, and try to, you know, open up and let you guys into my world and what's my purpose of uh, why I want to go into fitness. I'm going to be doing like a life story type of video uh, v-blog uh, log coming up soon just to give you guys a more personal perspective of who I am. I'm a family guy. I'm married. I have kids, all that stuff. I just want you guys to understand my perspective, my challenges, and so you guys can be motivated and don't have any excuses, you know what I mean? Because believe me, some things are going to come up. So this is TJ Jackson, EMC Fitness. It's growing, guys. Let's get in shape. Let's get big. Let's stay focused. Let's stay motivated. You can do it if you believe you can do it. It don't matter what nobody else believes. But if you believe you can do it, anything is possible. TJ Jackson, y'all, in EMC Fitness, man.